Okay, so today um, it's going to be our fourth day ng ating 7 days work from home challenge. Um, let's recall, so the first day we created your online resume and the second day we updated and created your LinkedIn profile. Third day we updated or created your online jobs and upwork profile. And for this day we're going to create your own online portfolio. So, online portfolio, it's like a website where you can showcase your skills and um, your recent or previous projects that you mo with your other with your clients. So, um, katulad nito, it's like a portfolio. It's not really a portfolio kasi para to sa mga um, uh, audience, target audiences ko dito are vir virtual assistants, not clients. Pero parang ganito siya. Um, I'm always using Wix. Um, when it comes to my uh, when, when creating website kasi for me parang gusto ko kasi yung, yung style niya and medyo nasanay na rin ako so you can create an online portfolio using Wix so just go to Wix.com pero I I, uh, I saw another site where we can create um, a simple website or portfolio then and so, ito yung, ito yung sample lang nung ginawa ko, no, from Wix. So, pwede ganito rin yung gawin nyo, pipili lang, pipili lang naman kayo ng mga teams. And, free naman yung teams na yun. So, and this website is free. So, wala siyang domain. So, ito yung site, simplesite.com. Again, that's simplesite.com. Um, we can create our portfolio here from scratch. So, kanina nag-practice, practice lang ako. So, um, may konting nagawa na ako. Kasi, first time ko siyang gagawin dito sa site na to. So, again, that is simplesite.com. So, ito yung ginawa-gawa kanina. Um, but, I will have to log out. Kasi, gusto ko nga gumawa from scratch ulit. So, I can show you the steps. So, let me figure out how to, how to log out of this site first. So, ito siya. Ayan. Ito, ito yung site. Simplesite.com uh, I think we have to log in. Uh, not really. We have, I have to maybe go back to the main page again. So, again, um, type natin simple site. Okay, simple site. And then, there. So, piliin natin yung personal blog. Okay, and then dito, pipili tayo ng color, yung theme. Um, kahit ano lang, kasi pwede naman baguhin yun mamaya. So, pili lang ako dito ng color. Ayan, ito na lang. And then, click on the next image up upper right hand side yan click nyo yan and then um, mag upload tayo ng picture sa home page para sa home page natin so upload pwede tayo mag upload pwede kayo gumawa ng um, ng sarili nyong blog banner sa canva um, but first is try natin mag search ng laptop since related siya sa freelancing or as a virtual assistant no? so um, laptop, ayan, siguro, pwede na yan. Um, you can also try to, of course, upload your own image. So, let me try that. Gamitin ko yung cover photo ko na ginawa ko sa Canva. Um, uh, medyo... Medyo hindi siguro sakto yung resolution niya dito. So, baka malabo siya. So, siguro palitan natin na lang ulit nung laptop. And click on the next button na sa upper right. Next title yung nakalagay. Yan. Now, we can now um, we can now edit the name of the site. Or siguro yung header yung nakalagay dyan na my website. Palitan natin. So, anything could be your name. Or maybe the name of your... Tulad ko, ang nilalagay ko is Eden's uh, Virtual Services. So, pwedeng ganito or pwedeng full name na lang. And then, click on next ulit. 
and then we are going to create our own username. So, yung username, ito yung magiging domain, parang domain natin. Kung baga yung mismong website. So, anong name ang gusto nyo ilagay dyan. And, bigyan naman niya kayo ng suggestions, pero bawal may kapareho. So, medyo, medyo nag-struggle tayo dyan. So, figuring out pa rin tayo. Ayan. So, nakaharap na tayo ng username. Um, lagay nyo lang yung email na gusto nyo gamitin for the website. Ako, gagamitin ko muna yung aking dummy email. And, of course, create your own password. Okay. So, let's just wait. Um, medyo matagal-tagal siya eh. Medyo mapagal din nga yung net ko kanina. Naka-converge tayo. So, medyo, ewan ko, mabagal si converge ngayong araw na to. Kahit kahapon. So, wait pa rin tayo. And, alright. So, nung nag-load na siya, eto na siya. So, papipiliin ka niya kung gusto mo ba ng free o meron silang promo dyan na for one dollar lang. Pwede kang gumawa ng sale mong website. So, I, I know my catch yan. So, pipiliin ko yung free muna para safe. So, free and then start editing na agad. And, um, parang tutorial mode pa siya. So, click ko lang yung got it din sa mga yan. Click on got it. Got it. Ano pa sa isa? And now we're going to uh, put a logo. Pili lang kayo ng mga logo dito, icons dito sa, I think, yung um, computer siguro or, lap or laptop para related sa freelancing. Ah, uh, yeah, it says pro. So, dun tayo sa taas pamili. Yung mga nasa taas yung free, I think. So, let's click this one. Okay, okay naman siya. Maganda naman siya. And save. And then next is we're going to go to the header, header portion. So, pipili ka lang naman ng header style. Gusto mo ba ganito? Pero ako prefer ko yung nasa taas, yung kanina. So, okay na ako doon. And dito naman sa baba, linked accounts. Um, I don't wanna do that. Kasi pag may linked accounts ka, ibig sabihin, um, makikita ni, pwede mong i-add yung link ng social media profiles mo. I don't wanna do that now I mean by that and it's up to you guys if you want to add and then just save pag nakapili na kayo ng header header style and after that we can click or we can edit the website fonts I want uh, this one yun nasa taas lang ulit yung free so I want this one and then yep like that uh, save now ayan na yung website Colors. So, ayan yung sabi ko, pwede kayong mamili ng website colors. So, I want this one, pink and white. And, background naman, I prefer, pwedeng video. Pero, feeling ko kasi nakakahilo yung video. So, I, I prefer yung still photos. Or, much better, I think. Much better, wala. Wala na lang. So, siguro delete ko na ng background. I prefer white. So, simple, simple lang yung dati niya. And then, next is the footer. So, again, ayoko ng my social site. I don't wanna set it up right now. Um, so, close ko lang yan. And, I think that's it for the home. Uh, no, not yet. Hindi pa tayo tapos. Pero, okay na yung mga yun na sinet up natin. Um, do naman sa text. <clears throat> yan. So, yung text, ayan, bunda tayo sa pages. Mag-add tayo ng pages dito. So, first is, i-edit muna natin yung name ng homepage. So, instead of my website, gawin natin home. Kasi nga homepage siya. So, gawin natin home and then save. Then, create another page. We will create another page for uh, siguro blank page. And ito naman yung gagawin natin portfolio 
and then save. And for the last page, uh, another page is contact page. And then, of course, ang name ng page natin ay contact. Alright, and then save. Now, we can close this and i-edit na natin yung ating, of course, ang first ay yung home page. Oops, that's it's not here. So, close natin to close. And pupunta tayo sa home page. Click natin yung home mismo. Yan, home. Click natin yan. And then, we can edit the, the subtitle of our, on our website under the heading. Siguro, pwede kayo maglagay dyan ng tagline or your full name. So, pwede yung tulad dun sa LinkedIn, yung I help business owners, kami-kami, ganun. Or pwede rin yung full name nyo. So, I think I'll put my full name here. And then, save. And then, dito naman, um, tagline. Siguro dito yung tagline. Since nilagay ko yung, since nilagay ko yung full name ko sa taas, siguro dito yung gagawin ko yung tagline. Um, let me figure out of some, oh, of what, uh, let me check Sorry, let me figure out what to say here. Dito mahahasa yung copywriting skills niyo kasi mas catchy, mas okay. Hindi ako magaling sa ganun. So, pardon me. I'm trying hard. <laughs> trying hard ako sa mga sa copywriting. So, siguro, ayan. Are you in need of a happy hand to um to, are you in need of a helping hand for your business? And then, dito na tayo. Move on tayo sa paragraph sa baba. You're on the right page. Okay, ano pa ba? Um, I have multiple skills and services that that I can offer to help you skill your business. And then just um, siguro include ko yung mga skills or services na pwede kong i-offer sa clients. So, I mean, you can um, use this as a guide pero it's up to you. Maybe you can just create your own format kung paano nyo sa tingin, paano sa tingin nyo um, mas um, ikagaganda ng portfolio nyo or um, pwede rin kayong mag-add ng picture. So, yan na. Nakalagay ko na yung mga ano, yung mga skills and services na pwede kong i-offer. Um, so, again, pwede kayong magdagdag yan ng images. So, pagandahin nyo na lang yung portfolio nyo. Mag- um, play around pag natin ang ating creativity. So, in the meantime, since, uh, syempre, parang tutorial lang naman to, parang sample-sample lang, okay na siguro to. And, we can move on to our portfolio page. So, sa portfolio page, usually, tulad yung nasa upwork ko, um, ang nilalagay ko lang doon is mga picture or screenshot lang ng mga nagawa ko before. So, picture ng mga infographics, pagdating naman sa... Um, uh, yung screenshot mga screenshot ng mga tool or spreadsheets na nagawa ko before so ngayon punta tayo sa add content um, pili tayo yung image and then let's browse sa images sorry medyo delay yung audio kasi nga pinapato ko lang sya ni, parang in, bino voice over ko lang <laughs> kaya medyo delay yung yung audio. So, ayan, pipiliin ko tong image na to. And then, add lang ng caption. So, lagay ko na lang add infograph. Add, which means parang advertising. Ha? Add infograph. So, save. And then, ayan na siya. And also, you can add another picture. Um, pwedeng videos. Siguro, videos of you. Parang walking through 
para nag-walk through ka dun sa project na ginagawa mo or let's say yung tool na ginamit mo before, pwede rin ganun. And then, of course, um, pwede rin kayong mag-add additional headline para is parang i-describe pa kung about what yung project na yun or pwede rin slideshow. So, maybe, why not uh, try um, let's try a uh, slideshow. So, in this na image, slideshow gawin natin. So, ito natin ilagay sa Alright, slideshow, and then add slideshow. And then, let's select at least like three pictures, two to three. So, pipiliin ko yung picture na, or infographic na gawa ko mismo. This, this, and this. And then, open. And then, add, bahala kayo, add caption, add image headline, and then, dun sa transition type, yun yung, kung paano mag-transition yung mga picture. So, pwede pa slide, pwede, ayun, up and down, cubic, fade, so I prefer fade, and then save, and siguro, delete na natin yung nasa taas, since may slideshow na tayo. And that's what it looks like. So, slideshow. Naka-slideshow siya. Para nag-play siya automatically pag napunta siya sa... Pag nagpunta si client sa site na yan or sa page na yan. Now, let's move on to our contact page. Um, sa contact page, of course, edit niyo yung contact information niyo. So, ilagay niyo yung contact info niyo like your full name. Lagay natin contact me. And then, lagay ko yung full name ko. Even need to choose, and then of course my phone number. And email. Okay. Oops, hold on. Add Gmail. And that's it. Save. And yan yung tura ng contact page. So, pwede mag-enter dyan ng details or mag-inquire mag si client dyan. And yan yung mga details na need yung i-enter. And then, pag nag- pag may nag-send ng inquiry dyan, ma send yun sa email na pinang-sign up nyo. So, you will receive a notification kung may nag-inquire about your services or about your your availability. So, and then, save lang natin yan. And then, dito naman sa baba, we don't need this. This is, uh, I think, a business map or location map. So, delete na natin yan. All we need is this one here. And that's it. So, that's all for today. Um, very simple. Then we can just preview what it looks like. Um, hold on. I don't think I want to add anything else for now. So let's try to preview. This is your site link. Click natin yan. And let's see how or what it looks like. So yan. Medyo simple lang siya, no? Medyo chaka yung sa baba. But I, as I mentioned, use your creative creativity. So, maganda pa rin syempre si Wix, but if you want to use Wix, just go to Wix.com and just create a new site. Or click yung start now na yun, pag nakita nyo, pag nagpunta kayo sa website, kung may makikita kayong start now sa taas, pwede yun. And, uh, but of course, itong isa is simpler, mas madali syang gawin. Yung Wix ko, inaabot ako ng 3 to 4 hours dyan, pero dito, sobrang bilis. And then, yung contact info is ito. So, maganda naman siya. Kailangan lang siguro ng, um, uh, yun, gamitan ng creativity and uh, more, more, um, yung mga, yung mga eye-catching o mga, uh, parang nakaka-attract na, na copywriting, yung mga phrases, yung mga ganun, and images din. So, up to you guys. And this is your site again. You can just, um, share the link 
kung gusto nyo i-share to sa sa resume nyo, sa application nyo, sa online jobs or Upwork, pwede nyo insert yung link na yan. And they can just click on it and visit your site. So that's it for now. I hope